Okay, so today's question, my doctor recommended metformin as I have high blood sugar. I'm not sure I want to take it. What are the pros and cons of doing this? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. Take care. Okay. So today's question, my doctor recommended metformin as I have high blood sugar. I'm not sure I want to take it. What are the pros and cons of doing this? We see this recommended all the time, even actually it's interesting, even if there aren't any blood sugar issues, we saw this last week with a client where, you know, coming up for a cycle, um, an IVF, it could be a standard, a standard recommendation. What's your take on metformin, um, the pros and cons, Dr. Tabitha? Yeah. So metformin has been shown in multiple studies to help with insulin resistance, to manage your blood sugar, which in turn makes your body feel like it's safe to reproduce. And so we do see fertility improve with metformin use. We see women lose that stubborn weight. You know, our fat cells, they're called adipose cells, make a form of estrogen called estrone. And that can be converted into testosterone as well. But those hormones made in your fat cells aren't doing you any favor. They're just causing more imbalance. And so if we can get women losing weight before they try to get pregnant, that is beneficial. And metformin has been proven to do that. You know, I can see it from both sides. I'm a conventionally trained doctor and a functionally trained doctor. So you know, I used to give metformin all the time. You got PCOS, you aren't ovulating, you want to get pregnant, let's do metformin. And it works. But it's not really addressing the issue because a lot of women are continuing to eat highly processed foods with inflammatory oils from restaurants and fast food and things like that. And so you're still driving this dysfunction. It's like trying to scoop water out of a bathtub when the drain is plugged and the water's still running. Like it's going to overflow. You're just slowing down that, that massive catastrophe. So I really want women to work on the root causes, but if they are dialing all that in and they are, their cells are still struggling so here's the thing, our cells can get inflamed. The actual membrane where the hormone binds can get inflamed to the point where the hormone can't send the signal. And so if insulin can't send a signal to fix your blood sugar and you know balance your blood sugar, we need to bring down that inflammation. Metformin is kind of bypassing that and helping with your insulin to get that blood sugar into the cell, but it's not fixing the inflamed cell. That will show up as another problem down the road. So unfortunately, I see women end up with gestational diabetes or preeclampsia of pregnancy very often when they use metformin to get pregnant. So if you're going to use it, also do the other work. <laughs> I sound like a broken record, but the risks, um, the major risks are your baby can have low blood sugar at the time of delivery because your body has been controlling this artificially Sometimes your baby will develop gestational diabetes and not be able to manage their own blood sugars. And so when they deliver and they no longer have you as their source of food and regulation, they don't manage it as well. So that can sometimes be an issue. Um, it can cause diarrhea. That's the most common side effect that people complain of is they're having loose bowels a few times a day. Um, so they usually titrate it to bowel tolerance, actually, that's the recommended dosage. So other than that, we haven't seen any major long-term risk factors, but I don't think that we have necessarily looked either. 
And what's your take on, on uh, berberine? Cause that can be a, a natural alternative for that. But um, yeah, what's your take on that yes. one? So I love getting women on like a blend of berberine, cinnamon, inositol, a couple different things, chromium, different things to help regulate your blood sugars as you are making those diet changes. Those herbs and minerals will help your cell decrease their inflammation and hear the signal as you are managing your blood sugars. So a lot of times you don't need the metformin if you try that glucose support blend. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, send me a DM and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. and send me a DM and please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care. 